In the very heart of the Gulf Savannah, hidden in the sandstone escarpment on the boundary of a cattle property, sits one of Australia's most recently discovered but ancient beauties. Hi, I'm Simon Terry. Welcome to Australia's best kept secret. Our family originated in the southern part of the Shire, down towards Richmond Newton, and um, we moved up here in the early 60s. Robin Hood, as it was called then, um, spans 500 square miles in area. So it's, it's a big backyard. We had seven kids in the family, uh, two girls, five boys. I'm the youngest of the, of the mob, and being constantly out in the bush was always the best part of growing up here. It was just the freedom and every day there was something that just discovered and I have great recollections as a child seeing some of the sandstone and having these thoughts of I wonder what's in there. It never really uh, transpired until the early 90s that we'd got the chance to uh, start exploring it on the ground. It came about with a couple of friends of mine visiting in the early 90s and they uh, wanted to camp somewhere on the river and we thought we'd explore some of the sandstone whilst they were visiting and we uh, camped down here on the river and ventured up this little creek called Cobalt Creek. You could only go as far as this bank just here by foot and then we decided we'd have to, to get a tinny and, and explore it on the water. And this is where the, our amazing journey started, following this creek along up into the far reaches of the gorge, and it just blew us away. Oh, we were totally shocked at the fact that there was this beautiful gorge in our backyard we hadn't discovered. And, um, it's just amazing, I still remember it quite vividly, almost touching each side of the, the walls and thinking, how far does this go? We spent another couple of days exploring around the edge of the gorge. Soon after that, uh, invited family along. We explored it even further. It was, I can remember, a week of uh, just hiking around the gorge, looking around every nook and cranny. In the late 80s, we met. My wife's a local girl as well, off property, and uh, had a lot of things in common and buried ourselves in building this business and were able to uh, also rear three beautiful children and, and it's just been an amazing roller coaster ride. Our first tour we did up the gorge was pretty basic, I guess, but we had four drive bus and had a small tinny and I do recall uh, the guest had an amazing experience, firstly being the first up the gorge as a paying guest, and the tours evolved from there. So these days we have a selection of three different types of tours into Cobalt, including paddleboard tours up the gorge as well, helicopter flights and so on. As time went on, we developed boardwalks and, and also just recently Australia's first glass bridge. It's mind-blowing just seeing the expressions on people's faces. We're 17 metres above the water. Uh, when they first walk across that bridge and look down. Beautiful, I think it's amazing, very cool. Going up the gorge in the boat and looking forward to that next turn around the corner and, and just getting immersed in, in the whole product. It's just, they come away, I'm sure, come away changed because of it. Super cool, so glad I've done it. I guess it makes us get out of bed when we want to do more. Oh, we have enormous pride in what we've built and we always strive to keep our infrastructure maintained and it is a bit of a struggle in the elements out here with the lack of qualified trade staff. But we're immensely proud of what we've built and the feedback we get from our guests is constantly rewarding also. Showing us your backyard. Hey, no worries, mate. Yeah, pleasure. It makes us so insignificant. We're just a, a speck on the landscape when it comes to how it all evolved. We just got to remind ourselves that in this small amount of time that we're here to enjoy it.
and also to look after it. I always yearn to uh, explore more of the sandstone region. There's a lot there to be discovered yet. You need a couple of lifetimes to explore it all. What are we doing next, Guy? <laughs> you got to put it out there. To be part of whatever Simon and his family decide to do next, make sure you don't miss Cobalt Gorge on your trip to far north Queensland. We'll see you next time for more incredible stories of people doing things their way on my way. If you've missed anything on today's show or want some more information on a story, head to our website, nine.com.au forward slash my way. All our episodes up on Nine now. On the next My Way. More stories of inspiring Australians who are doing things their way. We'll see you then on My Way.